This video shows how to create a scatter plot for the missile project. I will do an example with just three missiles. Uh, the velocities, the initial velocities are not the same as the project. I just made up these numbers. Uh, but here also we have three different types of missiles. In this column, I will put uh, the time column. Okay? So the first thing that I will do, I'm going to start with my initial time of zero. Then in here, this is not the best way to do these formulas like I explained in class. This is just for, uh, for show and tell. Uh, there are better ways in doing this in Excel. And this is not an Excel class. So we're just going to go with some basic uh, formulas in how to do this. So I'm going to begin my formula with equal. And the formula I gave in class is minus 16 times. And then I will click on the cell where I have my time. That's the reference for the time. So that will be time square. Then to that I add the times times the velocity. So in this case, uh, I just want to type the velocity. I don't want to. Uh, I don't need to explain what absolute reference are, but that will be the best way to do it in Excel. You can see me in class if you want to learn how to do this. So that will be the time. And then the constant is the square root of 2 over 2. So I'm going to open parentheses. I'm going to type SQRT. That will be square root of 2. And then that divided by 2. And then the initial height, which in our case, as you guys uh, figure out in class, is 0. And then I will type enter, and that will give me my time. Okay? So one thing that I will do, I just going to copy this formula. So I'm going to right click, and then I'm just going to copy this, uh, press escape. Okay? Press, so pressing escape will take me out, and then I'm going to double click in the second formula, and then I'm going to paste. Okay. The only thing that I need to change is the velocity. So the 970 becomes a 705. Press enter again. And then I will come in the second formula. Uh, press space. And then the, seven, the 970 becomes an 800. Okay. So now I just change the velocity for all of them. Okay. So you can see here initial height is 0. And then... I'm going to um, go in my intervals. So I'm just going to go second by second. So below to the zero for time, I'm going to type a one. And then I'm going to highlight the cells where my formulas are, place my cursor in the lower right corner. Then I'm going to press the left click and hold it and drag one row down. There you go. So now I got values. And now what I need to do is just do this across time. So I'm going to highlight everything, scroll all the way down. Okay, you can go around 50 something seconds just to see. And you can see that here I have the times. Okay, so for example, for column one or for the first missile, it becomes negative after 43 seconds. Okay, for missile two, it becomes negative after 31 seconds. For missile three, it becomes negative after 35 seconds. I will show you how to take care of that. So what we do is, is that I'm going to highlight everything now. I'm going to click insert. I'm going to go into my charts, drop down arrow, and then I'm going to click scatter. You can see the chart here. And you can see that some values code negative. So it will be just as easy as deleting the values. So let's do that. I'm just going to take the negative values for the first missile. Okay. I'm going to delete them. Then I'll do the same for the second missile. Okay. Delete them. And then the same for the third missile. Okay. Then I'm going to delete them. 
Okay, so now here I have a chart that I can use. You can take this chart, right click, copy, and then you can paste this in Excel. You can change the title. Okay, so here you can put a, a height versus time. Okay. Uh, don't worry about the labels. Um, again, not an exact class, but I would highly recommend to go out there and look how you can put uh, the label for the x-axis and y-axis, etc. Okay. Uh, if you change your interval so to something that instead of a second every second every half a second, this will be more precise, and then and then you can actually hit the zero axis, which is not that important for now. Okay. So hopefully this video uh, will help you to create the chart. Uh, for the project. Good luck.